Hello and welcome. This time we're talking about one more method of converting analog to digital. Okay. This time we're talking about a voltage frequency possibility. Yeah. Last time we had this uh, voltage uh, controlled oscillator. Yeah. We're using such voltage controlled oscillator not at the compared voltage. We're using such voltage controlled oscillator directly at the input. Yeah. The result is a frequency which will count, which will be count. If I count this frequency over a certain time, if I have high input voltage, I have a high counter value. If I have low input voltage, I have a low counter value. Well, that's what I want to have, right? So let's have let's have a look. So there is again a counter. There is again a memory. There's again a display. Okay, so counter. Memory. Display. the output everything like before okay. then here I will use an end here I get the counter ticks okay. and the counter ticks I get from a, a voltage frequency conversion okay. See here We can draw it like this, UF. So here is a voltage frequency. Yeah. Here is the input voltage. Directly connected to the input voltage. If the input voltage is high, high frequency. If the input voltage is low, low frequency. This will be counted by the counter. Of course, this is the reason for this. Here is a timer, digital timer, for instance, counting the ticks for a certain time. Okay. And then the only thing we need is some sort of control logic, which will control this. So the control mod logic needs to start the timer, needs to copy the counter value to the memory. And that's it. That's it. Nothing more. Okay. Frequency, uh, voltage frequency converter, use it. Yeah. Very simple. Yeah might have a little bit drift here and so on this is not that 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 easy yeah constant constant uh time timing conversion time sometimes used in digital multimeters digital multimeters usually use this dual slope variant okay here this was also pretty often used in digital multimeters because in digital multimeters it the timing is not that critical yeah. if it takes half a second then it takes half a second one further possibility of converting analog values to digital values all of these do have a certain uh, time they simply need to convert Next time, we're going to talk about a method 
which will be almost ready in almost no time. Of course, there is a downside to the price. How this is working will be done in next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening and goodbye.